How's it going everyone? We're back with more small lands and today we're gonna upgrade to flint tools and probably take on the very first boss I think we'll, we'll see how that works. There's also kind of a mini boss so You could call that the first boss I guess but that's not what we're doing uh, Or if we run into it, maybe we will <laughs> I don't know but uh, we got everything we need I think and uh, We're gonna go head down our tree and talk to our friend here and uh, As you can see our tree has moved we used to be Right up here, where our poor ladybug is still sitting. <laughs> and now we're down here. And uh, that's the beauty of this tree. You can just move your base, it can come with you. As long as it's up here, it will come with. And uh, that is just really nice that it cleared up for us too. Look at that. Ready to get rid of this wooden sword. That is for sure. Alright, so we already have it marked on the map here, which you can do by just clicking on the icon. You'll see we have to go that way. Nice thing is they're not too far from where we claimed this tree. That was the whole purpose. Oh, oh, here we go. And, oh, there's a grasshopper. So a grasshopper will actually be the next possible tame, but there's also a weapon you can learn from killing it. And that's actually the grasshopper scythe. And it's pretty decent. There we go. There you go, Grasshopper Scythe. And uh, I don't remember what else we need for it. Let's. Oops, did I. Oh, fiber and resin. I kind of forgot to bring my stuff with me. Okay, we'll chop down some more poppies here. Oh, uh, nope, we're not getting fiber from those. Just uh, petals and nectar, that's right. We want to go down here. There's some fiber. And, uh, yeah, the first boss is actually like a, a wasp queen. It's like a mini boss. So if we do run into her, I think she's over that direction up that way I want to say again not our goal today but you know if we happen across her we will something chirping back there. Don't trust it. <laughs> Never really can. Oh. There we go. It's okay, ladybugs. I'm not here to hurt you. And here we are. All right, so we've made it to Skyde. Skid, Skyde, Skid, Skid, Skid. And some creatures can be tamed using treats. Yep, we are aware. And look, he has a little grasshopper ready for you to go. So let's talk to him. There we are. Can you make armor? Yes, he can. So he can make two sets, the chitin set and the primal set. And you'll see the primal set has a nine cold protection, but protection of two, uh, plus three blunt and minus two on the movement speed. And then if we look over here, it's actually only three, but you get plus one there, but you also have minus one movement speed. So yeah, that's kind of trade off. Uh, chest of course then has one extra point. So, three versus four is kind of what you're going on there. All right, so uh, as you'll see, that all popped up. Boom. Let's continue talking. Oh, oh wrong button. Uh, let's see, you had troubles. A rhino beetle, and there you go. That is the first proper boss. If we bring him a horn, he'll teach us something special. And I think that's all we need to. Yep, that's all we need to talk to him about. And uh, we're gonna get some flint and get going up into the next tier, I think, before we go get the rhino beetle. 
So we are just heading its direction, so to say. And of course it starts to get all stormy on us when we're heading down to the beach. Oh, oh, there we go. All right, there's a big boy we're gonna need to take out. So these guys will give you some chitin, which is nice. Totally missed, not nice. Oof, yeah, not doing the most damage to him. Uh, not great. But they don't do the most damage to you either. Oh, he bit me on the way down. That is a cheap shot, buddy. That is a cheap shot. And these guys actually get wrecked by blunt damage, uh, but, uh, yeah, we don't have a hammer on us. There we go, three times chitin, so we're gonna need a lot of it. I think I'm gonna go for the chitin set before we take on the rhino beetle, and, uh, so we have to kill a lot of those guys. Not so great, but hey. It's alright, well, really? Decide to mosey somewhere else as soon as I show up. Oh man, that was just bad aim. fun. This game is definitely a lot easier when you have uh, someone else to help you knock out some of this stuff here, because they are not so friendly. Alright. Well, there's one of those beetles, but I think we're still in the process of healing here. Eh. We'll heal by the time we get to him. What we really need to do is put a bench down and we don't have any resin on us. Oh, that's not good. Good timing. Oh. Bad time to pick a fight. I don't know if we're gonna make it back up there in time. Oh boy, that's not good. around the rocks. I'll be... I don't... I don't want to fight you right now. We both shouldn't be out here. I get Be out here? <laughs> I'm gonna die horribly. Oh! I can see shelter! We can make it! Busy. Oh, look at him, mister. I'm gonna make sure I get in front of you so I can bite you at least once. Yeah, yeah. You do that. You gonna follow me in here, really? I can't believe you followed us in here. Well, all right, well, uh, we're gonna wait out this storm that literally just started, and uh, we will bring you back. All right, we're back. We made a grasshopper scythe. We have a little beach side bed, and I think we're ready to go, and oh, there's one of those cockroaches. Yeah. All right. 
I missed it entirely. That's not good. Not fun. Red jerky. Ooh, that's great. Yeah, uh, okay. Sometimes they drop keratin and sometimes they don't. And uh, I feel like those aren't really worth it. So if we keep going that way, we're going to go straight to the boss. So that's not what we want to do. There is a lot of flint down by him. But uh, we'll go over here and get a little more friendly flint. And uh, I think we're out of arrows too. Yep. Really don't want to deal with that. Water bug, as they're calling it. Uh, uh, oh, okay. I think we got past it. Very nice. There's the dragonfly, or damselfly, I should say. That's one of the end game mounts, actually. Can't do much with it right now other than fight it. I don't know if it's going to attack us. Seems to be leaving us alone. All right, we can get some flint. And flint shears, that's very important. You're gonna need those to get spider webs. Mm, fun, right? It's, but hey, you need some silk, right? There we go, there's more flint. And I think we got a big beetle friend here. Scythe should do a little better on him. for the chitin, you know? Alright. I think we have everything we need now to make what we need. So first up is going to be a flint hatchet. Boom. Don't like the spear. We're skipping that flint sword. Ooh, we don't have enough for the... I don't th oh, we just need a little more flint. Okay. We'll, we'll make the shears. And then for the flint pick pickaxe, we just need nine more flint and I should have done the pickaxe first why why didn't I oh boy well <laughs> you know that is what that is I guess uh, that can go in the box that can go in the box beautiful the shears will just keep on us for now I hate how everything moves around in your inventory on its own alright grab a little bit more flint I think we go over this way here. And then we should be able to get Herptile Hide around here and Bark. Ah, there's both the things I just spoke of. There's two. Uh, now, I own leopard geckos, so this kills me to have to kill these guys, but they're aggressive. And they're our source of leather in the game, so... I'm sorry. And... Bark. I think we... Oh, no, we need flint pickaxe to harvest it. Okay. Now, oh, that's how you learn the blow dart gun. Okay. That's good to know. See if we can hit this damselfly down. We do need wings for our wingsuit, which is the most important thing to work towards, in my opinion. Because having a glider changes your life in this game. Oh, there's some wings. Nice. All right. That should give us the amount that we need, but I'm not 100% sure. So we're going to go ahead and just hit one more here. Alright. 
right, and then we can head back around the corner to our base. And we should be able to make our pickaxe. Oh, almost passed it. Here we go. Flint pickaxe. All right, we are like fully upgraded now. Toss that old sucker into the box. Oh, and also we'll need bones in the herptile um, Leather and bones come from the geckos, and then frogs also give herptile leather and uh, bones. So that's also another thing to pay attention to. And then where in the world did my old pickaxe go? Am, am I just bl blind? Uh, let's see, we don't need all that on us. Or that, we can probably store that up. And, uh, it was in our active hand. There it is. <laughs> oh, that was tripping me out. All right, we figured it out. So now we've got this nice pickaxe. And what this upgrade gets us is actually the next building tier, which is wood. And what you want to do is run on over here, back to some of that bark we were looking at. There's all sorts of bark over here somewhere. We're gonna take out this damsel fly. Oops, missing. We're also using fire arrows now. They don't appear to catch things on fire, but they do do a decent bit more damage than wooden arrows, so. We're doing that. And, oh, okay. Oh, wow. That did not do a lot of damage. Oh boy. Oh, I think this thing's gonna kick our butt. Oh, no, 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 no. Ow. Oh, no, oh, no. Ow, you giant. Ugly locust. Actually, I have to say this color's pretty cool looking, but... Oh, oh, it ate us! Oh, no. Oh, I can't believe it. it has a sliver of health left. Alright, at least we still have our sword in our hand. Hopefully his health doesn't reset. There's our body. Please don't have reset. It didn't reset, it was slowly healing though. Oh, take that. Ooh, four chitin. And learning the lubber roast. <laughs> that sounds so delicious. All right, well anyways, I wonder if we can mine these bone pieces here. Nope. Alright, but we're here for the bark. And here goes. Boom! Wood foundation. Wood blah 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 blah. Learn all sorts of building stuff. It is awesome. So there's that. But uh, we're going to run around and kill a bunch more of everything we need. So that we can go ahead and... Uh, get our armor set going so we can take that boss on so we will bring you guys back as soon as that is good to go all right we're two here and i think we have everything what to make it wait what are we missing oh we don't have any more insect fur okay well we can make a helmet that we don't have space for in our inventory uh, let's temporarily drop the lubber femur and uh, get our helmet. Alright, oh, that looks so cool. 
Nice. All right, we have a helmet. Uh, I guess we have to go kill a couple bees and uh, bring you back. I completely forgot it needed insect fur, but there's bees up the hill here, so that shouldn't be too big of a deal. Uh, also, killing a wasp is going to unlock poison arrow and the poison mace and all that you just saw pop up on the screen. So I figured that was worth mentioning. And then there's also strawberry plants right outside here. You can see that's the camp there. And there's a bunch of strawberries. So if you're looking for those, they're here as well. All right, we should have all the fuzz we need now. Hello. Yes. Oh, we don't have any inventory space, of course. Uh, drop that on the ground, drop that on the ground, drop that on the ground. Can you make me armor? Boom. Boom. Oh, we're missing chitin and one more fur somehow? Okay, I guess I miscalculated. Well, guys, I mean, we've got the majority of it here. Uh, I guess we need one insect fur and some more chitin. Alright, well... You know, that's not too bad. Uh, we'll bring you back, I guess. Okay, guys, we're here, and uh, the boss is just around the corner. Again, Rhino Beetle Boss is what we're doing. You can notice him by the big uh, old fish hanging up there. And, uh, yeah, this thing kind of sucks. I'm going to turn off the HUD so we can get a screenshot of him before he, you know, tries to maul our faces off. Let's see, where is it? There it is. There it is. Oh. Oh. All right, uh, let's get our HUD back and uh, start working at this. Oh, that hurt a lot. So what you need to do is get a little bit of height on it. It can climb, but it kind of screws with it, and that's when you can do your healing. Try to dodge those, but we really don't want is when it's about to charge you like that. See, he's getting ready to charge. That's something you don't want. You want to make it try to climb something or do a stomp instead. Oh, you can see piercing does pretty good. Make sure you keep your bandages going. Oh, that's the attack you want to make sure you dodge. He clipped me a little bit on it, but wasn't as bad. Oof. Clipped us a little bit on that. That's actually a three-part attack, and if it hits you for all three, it hurts. Almost got him. Oh, there we go. We did it. Yes, we are victorious. And all that for a rhino horn we can't pick up. Um, <laughs> Let's see. Uh, there we go. Dropping the lubber piece again. We keep trying to take it with us. and Oh. Oh, I guess we keep trying to take it with us. There we go. Rhino horn. So we got the rhino beetle split horn. We need to take it back to our friend up the hill here. And uh, when we give it to them, it will unlock a special recipe for us. So uh, it's a bit of a trek back up the hill, so I'll bring you guys back as soon as we get up there. All right, what a beautiful time to turn in. A storm, some rain. All right. I brought you the rhino horn. You've done it. I recognize this horn. This beetle used to wander the swamps. I don't know how it found its way down to the beach, though. It attacked me on sight. Very unusual. I suggest you visit Lysandra. She might have some insight into this matter, as she is an expert in the creatures of the swamps. So, we have now learned Gecko Treat! That's pretty awesome. You can actually tame a gecko. So, what we're gonna actually do is tame a grasshopper next time. Use that grasshopper to actually skip ahead on back over to Drustana. Okay, and we're gonna kill the wasp boss over there. Get our wingsuit, and then we will come back and we will go to the swamp 
to meet Lissandra because the swamp is gnarly and we're going to want a glider for it. So I highly recommend not following quite exactly the order of the game. But uh, there we have it, guys. We can now tame geckos, and that's pretty exciting. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.